Cops, accused incest couple, their infant dead in apparent multi-state murder-suicide New Milford, con police in three states are investigating the apparent murder-suicide deaths of a father and daughter accused of incest, their infant son, and the woman's adoptive father. Police in Nightdale, NC say they responded to a home around 9 a.m. where Stephen Plattle, 45, and his biological daughter Katie Plattle, 20, were living when they were arrested on incest charges out of Henrico County, Virginia in January. There, they found seven-month-old Bennett Plattle dead in a suspected homicide. No one else was in the home. About 20 minutes earlier, 600 miles north in New Milford, Con, police responded to a report of a shooting and found a man and a woman dead in a pickup truck with New York plates, the victims of a double homicide. Police developed information on a suspect vehicle, and when New York State troopers found the minivan several miles away across the state line in Dover, the suspected gunman was found inside dead of an apparent self-inflicted gunshot wound. Speaking at a press conference Wednesday, Nightdale Police Chief Lawrence Capps confirmed the victims killed in the pickup truck were Katie Plattle and her adoptive father 56-year-old Anthony Fusco, and that the man who killed himself in New York was Stephen Plattle. Nightdale Police confirmed to Crime Cider that Stephen Plattle is suspected in the death of his infant son in North Carolina. The alleged relationship between the father and daughter began two years ago in Virginia, where Katie Plattle was born in 1998. Stephen Plattle and his wife at the time gave Katie an up for adoption shortly after she was born, but in 2016 at age 18, Katie located her birth parents and began living with them in their home west of Richmond, CBS affiliate WNCN reported. When Stephen Plattle's wife found out he was in a sexual relationship with Katie and she was pregnant, they divorced, and the woman contacted police. Katie and Stephen Plattle reportedly had the baby together in September 2017, married and moved to Nightdale, North Carolina, where they were arrested in January. They were both charged with incest, adultery, and contributing to delinquency and bonded out of jail. Stephen Plattle's bond conditions were modified this month to allow him to travel to North Carolina, reports WTVR. Katie Plattle's bond terms required her to live with her adoptive parents, who live in New York, the station reports. She was allowed to travel out of state. Cap said during a Wednesday press conference he wouldn't comment on the cause or manner of the child's death in North Carolina. Capps said it was Stephen Plattle's mother who called police Thursday morning and requested the welfare check. Capps said Stephen Plattle had been living at the Nightdale residence where the boy was found dead, and that his mother had been living with the child in another home in the community while the incest case was pending trial in Virginia. The mother said Stephen Plattle had picked the child up from her Wednesday night. She police when she requested the welfare check that she was concerned over comments her son had just made to her on the phone.